by first thanking all of you for being with us to celebrate Offi Sings Green, a tribute to education and the environment. Tonight's show is an initiative that was born from the persistence of love of some of Manang Offi's closest friends, namely Madame Lynn Gamboa, Madame Linda Manyalak, Madame Cecilia Dinglazan, Madame Melet Manankil, who, like many of you, enjoy music nature and the arts encouraged her to sing to her heart's content for the trees the flowers in our patria adorada region del sol querida as most of you know manang ofi is a firecracker an activist in many ways especially when it comes to social environmental and civic causes she is also equally moved when it comes to music and making great memories with friends. Tonight, she braved this stage to share her voice, love and care for Mother Earth. And you, no holds barred, please welcome the Manila Symphony Orchestra and their praise Solaris. Oh. 
But there's one thing that I've got, that's my man. Golden wet eyes you've got, but those that I've soon forget with my man. finite resources and yet generations have lived over the centuries like there is no tomorrow. Our natural environment has been compromised. Our bi biological diversity has been significantly reduced and the general health of our environment is considered 
to be free of sin. We cannot keep a blind eye to this. We need to find a balance. We need to work hard and plan for a sustainable future so that our children can be surrounded with beautiful things and grow up healthy, balanced, and happy. Our children and young people have the greatest stake in the sustainability of our planet. We need to teach them the true value of the environment and the high cost of losing it. I congratulate FEEP or FEEP for the work we have done as we violently fight for the right of children and human beings to be surrounded by beauty. Thank you very much. Please welcome Perez Priogan Central. Thank you very much.
angels' voices. I'm so proud of this and I'm so proud that I'm singing to you. Thank you.
bij het oude dood en dan bij die pak. Ik vertel je story. De laatste day, I went to bed early. Said good night to everybody. Then in the middle of the night, I woke up. Anna Marie was still behind the computer working, and I woke up six o'clock or five o'clock in the morning, and Anna Marie was still sitting on the computer. She has been working for several months, doing all the work, put work for this, put this program together, contacting all the sponsors. Uh, fundraising, uh, the video presentation, uh, all the work, and I would really thank you so much for making this uh, event possible. I'm a very Peter Cecil, the right hand of my wife, he has been going through the event of feet right from the start, especially our first start with you people's banyards. Um, from there on we expanded to up north to Kabian, uh, to La Union. We have been uh, the expressways everywhere, left and right, planting like men. The uh, story was that my wife, many years ago, even before with you people's banyards, she was already planting in a province in Tarlac. Um, uh, we forgot actually to mention the Philippine army who has been most providential actually in supplying the labor for putting the trees in the ground. Um, to tell the story that my wife came to Tarlac province and she suddenly got phone calls from all her friends from high school said, there is a coup d'etat in Tala. <laughs> said, what? Said my wife. Yeah, there are army people with many trucks coming. That was my wife is the Philippine army planting trees. <laughs> and I would like to mention here the, the predominant role of the Philippine army. And a special mention to General Sabare and General Thank you. Thank you so much.